Tonight's We the People Fact Finder report centers on a Feingold ad that raises questions about his opponent's plans for Social Security. News 3 political reporter Jessica Arp gets to the bottom of it in tonight's Reality Check. Russ Feingold gets very literal in his interpretation of how his opponent would treat Social Security, comparing a table full of junk to ideas to change the program. Mr. Johnson says where Social Security is concerned, everything's on the table even privatization for some. This needs clarification. Ron Johnson will try to fix what he says is a system in distress. I'm going to go there and I'm going to actually address those problems. I'll, I'm going to take a look at all the options. They all have to be on the table. It's going to require a bipartisan approach. Does that mean privatization? A spokeswoman for Johnson says he would not support mandatory privatization, but is willing to look at other possibilities. For example, Johnson has called Paul Ryan's Roadmap for America's Future plan courageous. Ryan's plan includes an option of privatization where workers could move Social Security taxes into private accounts. Feingold clearly opposes privatization of any kind. Here's my position. I oppose turning any part of Social Security over to Wall Street. That's why the National Group to Preserve Social Security supports me. Russ Feingold. It's true that group has endorsed Feingold, but apparently for him, not everything is off the table when it comes to changing the program. While Feingold wouldn't privatize Social Security, he would consider raising the wage base for those paying in. Right now, those making more than $106,000 pay a preset amount. Feingold would consider raising that cap so wealthier Americans pay more into the fund. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check. And if you have an idea or a question or a claim that you want our We the People Fact Finder team to check out for you, send it to us at question at wtpeople.com.